Hi, I'm trustee Malindisa from CDH, and I'm here to explain the recent amendments to the regulations regarding the use of public transports during level three of the lockdown. Long distance public transport is now permitted to enable people to travel between provinces as is permitted under level three. Under alert level three, the following persons are permitted to travel between provinces. Persons traveling for work, persons moving to a new place of residence, persons caring for an immediate family member, learners and students who have to commute to and from their schools or institutions of higher learning, people attending funerals, people involved in the transportation of mortal remains, those obtaining medical treatment, persons returning to their place of residence from a quarantine or isolation facility, and those traveling for the movement of children. The social distancing and hygiene measures applicable during level four of the lockdown remain in place. We have outlined them again for your convenience. All owners of public transport, vehicles and facilities must put measures in place to promote social distancing so as to prevent cross infection as far as possible. They must also provide sanitation and disinfection equipment to users. Vehicles must be sanitized before each trip and before and after each load of passengers. Windows, doors, armrests and handrails all must be sanitized regularly. All sanitizers used must have an alcohol content of 60% or more. All drivers, security personnel and taxi marshals must wear face masks or a cloth covering the nose and mouth. This also applies to passengers who must also wear a face mask or a cloth covering the nose and mouth. No person will be allowed to use public transport facilities or enter any building or premises if they are not wearing a face mask or a cloth covering the nose and mouth. The time restrictions on all road public transport modes are lifted. Public transport will not be allowed to operate all throughout the day. The capacity restrictions, however, remain. The allowable capacities for minibuses, minibuses and taxis remain at 70% loading capacity. This means that a minibus that has a vehicle passenger capacity of 10 people may only carry a maximum of seven people plus the driver. A minibus that has a vehicle passenger capacity of 16 people may only carry a maximum of 10 people plus the driver. A meter bus, which is a slightly bigger vehicle, which has a vehicle passenger capacity of 22 people, may only carry a maximum of 15 people plus a driver. Buses must still adhere to a 50% loading capacity. This is inclusive of all seated and standing passengers. All e-hailing, which is Uber, Taxify, and all meter taxis remain at 50% loading capacity. This means that where the vehicle passenger capacity is five, the vehicle must only carry a maximum of three people, including the driver. All driving license testing centers, vehicle testing centers, and traffic department will resume their operations on the 1st of June, 2020. This is subject to strict application to health norms and standards. No person will be allowed to enter a driving testing center or any traffic department if they are not wearing a face mask or a cloth covering the nose and mouth. Driving schools may also resume services, but need to put hygiene measures in place to prevent cross infection as far as possible. All learners licenses, driver's licenses, vehicle license discs, temporary permits, and professional driving permits that expire during the period from 26 March to 31 May 2020 remain valid for a further period of 90 days from the 1st of June 2020. The How train will continue services for the routes Park Station to Hartfield and that of Santon to Oratambo International Airport. Prasa has not resumed operations as the Department of Transport has found that it cannot safely resume operations as yet. An announcement will be made when Prasa is ready to resume operations. I hope this was helpful. Stay safe and keep well. Thank you.